In this video, I will show you how to generate PDF invoice using C-Sharp, ASP.NET and PDF Sharp library. So we will use PDF Sharp and Migradoc, which are open source and are also free to use. So I already prepared this application that uses Razor pages. And first we need to install PDF Sharp. So we can make a right click, then manage NuGet packages. And here let's click on browse and here let's type PDF Sharp. So I will not install PDF Sharp, but I will install PDF Sharp with my Gradoc. So let's select it, then install. So the package is installed correctly, so let's close this page. Then let's create a new service that allows us to generate PDF invoice. So first let's create a new folder. Let's call it services. Then let's create a new class. Let's call it invoice service. Then let's create a new method to generate PDF invoice. We can call it get invoice and it returns an object of type PDF document. So here first let's create an object of type document, then let's create this PDF document renderer, then we need to call the method render document, then we will return this object which is of type PDF document. Then let's add the required namespaces. Then let's create a new method that allows us to create the PDF document. So we can call it just here. We can call it build document and it requires this object which is of type document. Now let's create this method. Then let's create a new section. So we can call document.add section. Then let's create a new paragraph to display the company details. So this is a new paragraph, we can display this text, then we can add a new line, then we can display the website of the company, then we can display the email address and the phone number. And we can add this space between this paragraph and the next paragraph. Now let's create a new paragraph to display the customer details. So in this paragraph, we will display the customer details and then we will add a space between this paragraph and the next paragraph. Then this is a new paragraph to display the number of the invoice. Then we need to display the invoice items. So first let's create an array that contains the invoice items. So we can create this array called products and here we can see that we have four items. So this is the number of the item, this is the description, this is the quantity, this is the unit price, and this is the total price of only one item. Then let's create a table to display the invoice items. So we can create this table and we can add five columns. Then let's create the header of the table. So we can create this row and it will be displayed in bold. So in the first cell we will display the text number, which is the number of the item. Then we will display the item description, then the quantity, then the unit price, then the total price of one item. Then let's add the invoice items to the table. So for every product that we have in this array, we will create a new table row. Then let's create a new paragraph to display the subtotal, the shipping fee, and the total. And finally, we can add the invoice footer. So in the footer of this document, we can display this paragraph. And we can display it in the center of the page. Now let's use this method to generate PDF invoice. So first let's create a new razor page.
and let's call it invoice. We don't need to write any HTML code, but we need to update the C Sharp code. So let's go to the code. Then in the onGet method, we need to use the invoice service. So we can create this object and we can call the method getInvoice that will return this object which is of type PDF document. And of course we can save the PDF invoice into a file. So we can uncommand this statement to save the PDF invoice into a file. But in this video I will show you how to send the PDF invoice to the browser. So just here. We can create a stream, we can save the PDF document into this stream, then we can read the bytes of the stream, then we can return the PDF file. Here we can see that we have this error, so we need just to change the type of this method. So we can write I action result. Then let's add a link in the home page that allows us to execute this method. So let's go to the home page. And let's add the download button. Let's run the application. Let's click on this download button. And we obtain this invoice. And here we have the footer. We can also create more advanced PDF invoice using PDF Sharp. So let's go to invoice service and here I will create a new method. I will call it build document 2. Then let's create this method. So I will create it just here. Let's run the application. Let's click on this button. And we obtain this invoice.